Hey, what's up guys, MKBHD here, and today we're going to be taking a look at the top five tech myths. And when I say top, I kind of mean the top five that are sort of floating around right now. Some of these you may already know are myths, some of them you might actually be a victim of thinking are true. The first of these has to do with cameras. The myth is the more megapixels, the better. And this is sometimes true in some very limited cases, but I mean, honestly, this isn't actually the complete picture. This would be true if the only thing that differentiated cameras was the number of megapixels their sensors were capable of capturing. But it's actually not. A good camera is made by overall good optics. So a good lens, fast lens, uh, good glass, an overall wide aperture, all sorts of different things make up a good lens and the sensor that's behind them all. And another myth that kind of falls underneath that is that an eight megapixel photo is twice as tall and twice as wide as a four megapixel photo. Not exactly true. An 8 megapixel image resolution has twice as many total pixels as a 4 megapixel photo resolution, but as you can see, it doesn't double the vertical and horizontal resolution. It just totals 8 million pixels and totals 4 million pixels. So you don't have to worry about having a drastically larger image when going from 18 to 22 megapixels. It's really not a whole gigantic noticeable difference. Myth number two is that insert tweak here will automatically drastically speed up the speed of your computer. So obviously a lot of the tech savvy people already know that these myths are for the most part completely untrue and these are kind of like the worst myths out there because they spread more frequently than the other types of myths. Everyone's always looking for a quick free effortless painless way to like drastically speed up your computer but honestly uh, Android task killers are a perfectly controversial example. Task killers on Android were originally meant to free up RAM and then in turn save battery life because it's killing processes that would be using CPU cycles and RAM, but that turned out to be a bit of a placebo effect because Android itself is actually very good at managing memory. Honestly, there is no magical thing you can do to drastically speed up your computer or phone or tablet, but the most common secret that people don't actually know is this maintenance, just actually taking care of what you do on your device and actually knowing what you're installing and how it affects what you're actually doing. So just know what you're doing with your device and you'll be fine. Myth number three is that Macs can't get viruses. What? I'm not even gonna scratch the surface on this one, but yes, Macs can get viruses. Every computer user, whether or not they have an antivirus installed, whether or not they're on Mac OS X, Linux, Windows, or any other operating system, needs to be careful about what they click and needs to be careful about what they download and install. There is some truth to the fact that there are more viruses out there for Windows machines than there are for Mac machines, for example. I mean, think about it from the perspective of a malicious hacker. If you're going to write a virus, for example, who are you gonna write it for? Windows, because Windows is on 92% of the active computers out there on the internet today. But yes, Macs can get viruses. Be careful. Next myth is that if you don't safely eject that USB drive, your computer will freak out and just explode. The idea behind this is that you actually want to avoid unplugging your USB drives when it's in the process of actually writing or reading data. So if it's actually doing something and you unplug it while it's doing that thing, you might corrupt the file that it was writing. So if you drag a picture from the USB drive to your computer and suddenly unplug it while it's transferring the picture, you pretty much just lost that picture. But if it's idle, like you're not reading or writing anything to it, you can just unplug it. Like it's, it, I know it's going to give you the error, but you have the ability to turn that error message off and you can just unplug it, it's very safe. I actually watched someone during a PowerPoint presentation finish his presentation. The teacher went to unplug the USB flash drive and he said, no, 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 stop, stop, stop. I need to safely eject this hardware. The fifth and final myth, that eh, kind of rhymed, is that Internet Explorer sucks. Well. Okay, well, see, I've been a bit of a culprit for this one. I do know that Internet Explorer is a much better browser than it used to be, the latest version of it is anyway. It's more of a coding nightmare in the background, but you know, while Internet Explorer isn't quite as good as Chrome or Firefox or Opera, that doesn't mean it sucks. It's just not quite as good as the other browsers, but it's, it's all right. If you use it, I'm not gonna freak out on you. I'm just gonna say, check out Google Chrome. Oh, looks like we have a new myth here. It says the myth is that Beach by Dre suck. <laughs> That's not a myth. Hey, either way, thanks for watching this video, guys. If you enjoyed it, feel free to like it. And if you haven't already subscribed to this YouTube channel, I might be pointing, yeah. If you haven't already subscribed to this YouTube channel, you can do that. I do post videos a lot more often now that it is summertime. So either way, thanks for watching and uh, I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Peace.